Reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 15. Ever since I heard of the faith in the Lord Jesus which prevails among you, and of your confidence in all God's people, I have never omitted to thank God on your behalf whenever I make mention of you in my prayers. And my prayer is that the God of Jesus Christ our Lord, the all-glorious Father, may inspire you with such wisdom and true insight through a fuller knowledge of himself, that your minds may be so enlightened that you may realize the hope given by God's call, the wealth of the glory of his heritage among Christ's people, and the transcendent greatness of the power which he is able to exercise in dealing with us who believe in him. That same mighty power was exerted on the Christ when he raised the Christ from the dead and caused him to set at his right hand on high, exalting him above all angels and archangels of every rank, and above every name that can be named, whether in the present age or in the age to come. And God placed all things under Christ's feet and gave him to the church as its supreme head. For the church is... Christ's body, and is filled by him who fills all things everywhere with his presence. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. May I suggest that you compare this text with the readings from Psalm 47 and Psalm 93, two other videos in the playlist this week. Spend some time with the questions on those as well, and meditate on the power and majesty of God. And what does that say about our hope as Christians?